Hey, it's Amanda Carroll from 103.9 The Fish here with Tom Days from EXP Realty to talk real estate. Oh my goodness, Tom, I just saw something in the news. Like there was a house that had over a hundred offers on it in Citrus Heights. What is going on? Right now is the hottest market that I've ever seen. It's the lowest inventory, the lowest interest rates, and Sacramento is rated the number one hottest market in the country based on Realtor.com. So it's pretty exciting. It's like Sacramento is becoming the new Austin or something. <laughs> Just about. There's so many wonderful things that Sacramento has to offer. Um, you know, of course, economically, you know, it's still affordable here. Um, you can have a little bit more space. You can have a home office. It's close proximity. Last Thursday and Friday, I was up at Lake Tahoe. And then Saturday and Sunday, I was down at the ocean. There's so many nice things to offer here mm -hmm. that really is bringing a lot of Bay Area buyers and others to this area. Well, and I love, yeah, I have three kids. I love, this is a family place. It's focused on family, great schools, all of those things. So what is all of that doing for the value of our homes? Like I'm a homeowner now, what does that mean for me? Well, values have gone up. In fact, over the course of the last year, the median price has increased 15.8%. Now in some neighborhoods, it's gone up 20, 25%. So values have definitely gone up. The record low interest rates has put nitrous oxide on our market. It's just put it on steroids. It just makes everything so much more affordable. It makes people afford a home that they could never consider buying before. And so it definitely helps. Although interest rates are slightly going up, they've gone up to 3.125%, Amanda. It's still so low. That's, oh they God. went up to 3%. That's <laughs> crazy. Right? I can't, yeah, can't even yes. imagine that we never would have contemplated something like So what does that mean? What is the right move for someone that wants to make a good financial decision and an investment? Maybe you're a first time home buyer or maybe you already have a home. What's your advice for people right now? Well, it's really case by case. The first thing we do is we just sit down and really connect and really find out what someone's financial goals are. And we call it, you know, a needs analysis. What do you need? What are your future goals? Um, would you like to buy something here locally or do you want to sell your home and then move out of state? There are a lot of people moving out of state yeah. um, so we can connect them um, to other brokers as well. Okay, so I'm on Zillow. You okay. know, I'm shopping. Right. I like to look at, sometimes I just like to look at the designs of people's kitchens, honestly. <laughs> Let's just be honest. But I, then I go, oh, let me see how much my home is worth. And right. I'm like, whoa, maybe now is a time. I've been in my home for 10 years. Maybe now I'm thinking, maybe I should sell and get something newer or different. But then I wonder, with all of these multiple offers, how am I going to find another home? Is it possible to sell my home that I've been in and find a new one? Well, first of all, mm -hmm. Zillow is not the is all be all. So be careful <laughs> with Zillow. Yeah. It uses different algorithms mm -hmm. to put a value on, on each home. A lot of times in a neighborhood or a subdivision, it's fairly close. The range is, uh, is close. And then once you do decide to sell your home, um, we have steps to help any seller uh, find another home and purchase that other home because of course we have a guarantee sale program mm -hmm. so they can purchase that home without a contingency. Um, and then we also have uh, sell a rent back. There's a lot of different options to make it smooth and seamless where you don't have to sell your home and go homeless. No one has ever been homeless on my watch. There you go. <laughs> That's really good to hear. I like that. So what is your read for the future of Sacramento when we see this giant growth? It's the number one hottest real estate market. We're getting Bay Area families moving in, families from everywhere. What do you think we're going to look like in the next 10 years? Is our city going to be changed? Well, of course, no one has a crystal ball. Um, but what I'm seeing is not really that much change over the course of the last year. Inventory will remain low. 
um, interest rates, they're saying, will remain low, and it's supply and demand. Right now, the supply is about half of what it normally is, and the demand is about twice that. So we're not seeing a huge change um, in our market over the course of the last year. So um, I think that we're going to see good, healthy things. So what's the best strategy for a buyer right now that wants to get into home, take advantage of these low interest rates? The first thing is meet with a professional, mm -hmm. and then also which includes meet with a lender, a reputable lender, and get pre-approved so you know exactly what you can afford. And then when you start looking for homes, you need to be realistic, and you also need to be patient when you're looking at homes and you need to be really quick with looking at homes and making an offer and um, purchasing your new home. So well, I've got to be patient to find the one that I want and when right. I find the one that's close enough that checks most of the boxes right. make that offer quick don't just go home and sleep on it. Absolutely okay. I like the 80 10 and 10 rule. Oh. Find a home that has 80% of the things that you want and desire, and then 10% that you can change, and then the other 10% what you can do live without. Oh. 80, okay. 10, and 10. I can't live without a pool. That's, okay. that's a non-negotiable <laughs> for me. Is there anything interesting that you're finding that people are looking for, that buyers are looking for, or something that people can do to their homes now to make them even more attractive? Well, you mentioned a, a pool. Right now, everyone wants to buy a, a home with a pool, especially since the pandemic. People want to spread out. They want a little bit more space. And if they do quarantine, they want to have space in style. They want to have quarantine in style with a pool. So that's the number one hottest ticket that there is. More than a home gym? <laughs> <laughs> that's number two. Okay. I think that would be yeah. right up on the list. Well, that's yeah. cool. I really appreciate your knowledge and thank you so much awesome. for your time. Is there anything else that we need to discuss that I did not ask you? No, I think we covered it. Um, if anyone has any needs or any questions, I'm always here to help out and answer any questions they might have. So thank you for everything. Excellent. So if you're thinking about selling your home, buying a home, I highly recommend you call my friend Tom Daves. If I were ready to sell my home, I'm thinking about it, I'm just about close. This is who I would call. He's an absolute expert. Call him at 855-TOM-DAVES, 855-TOM-DAVES or tomdaves.com.